What's up guys, Pixels here. In this video, we're going to talk about Aberration and everything we know so far about this DLC. Um, the reason why I'm really making this video is because I need to know if you guys know anything that I should know about this DLC. And I'm just really excited for it. Um, I honestly think this DLC will drop at the end of the month. That's pretty much the prediction that I really think is going to be coming out. Uh, but uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Like, what day you think this is actually coming out. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about that we know so far is... The dangerous things that we're going to have to survive in this world. And that's earthquakes, radiation explosions, gas leaks, and element chambers. Um, we also got radioactive sunlight. I feel like this is going to be much harder to live in than scorched earth. Um, in scorched earth, all you really had to worry about was, you know, if it's too hot or is it a sandstorm coming. It wasn't that much. You know, it wasn't that much where it's like you couldn't figure it out and survive. Um, I already have a hard time playing Scorched Earth because of those things. So I think this will be a lot harder to survive in. Honestly, I feel like this is going to like really test our skills, how good we are with this game. So um, it's good to see that they're adding even more stuff into the game that's going to have us, you know, trying to get stronger, trying to get better. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the new creatures. Now, the new creatures in this is kind of weird. Like, I looked at this and I was like, you know... <laughs> These is a weird ass, like, I don't even want to call them dinos because it, it feels like it's a brand new game. It's a new experience. They got different creatures. They can go invisible. They can glide. There's so much stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but some of the creatures in here do look kind of weird. It's like it's like another world, like a, a brand new, different world. As soon as we find out more about these creatures, um, I'll definitely give you guys updated. But as far as we know right now, all it really is is like a mutated creature. So uh, I guess there's a mutation of different creatures. And I know, you know, they add it where you can, you know, mutate. You can kind of like take two different, you know, dinos or whatever and, you know, see what you get out of that. You know, like the colors and stuff. I think this is like taking it to a whole new level. So the whole breeding thing might honestly be you have to take two different creatures and make them mate. And then, you know, you'll get a creature out of that. So... Hopefully they mix. They hopefully they play around with that because that would be kind of cool. Like two different creatures create a different, you know, a different species. That would actually be pretty badass. And I honestly feel like it will fit in this setting. The next thing we know so far is we can craft over 50 new items. Um, they didn't list everything. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what we know. Um, that they listed so far, and that's zip lines, wingsuit, charge battery, hazard outfits charge lanterns explosive rounds batteries glow stick rail guns like that's all we know so far and that is already a lot as it is and having over 50 new things to craft hopefully they give us more you know ingram points and stuff like that or just completely change it where you know certain things are not allowed into the game so we don't have to waste our ingram points on the stuff that we really you know been using on the other maps so I, I totally agree. Over 50 new items, that's a lot of items. I think that is fair enough for what we already have so far. Um, I don't know if Tech Tier is going to be in here. Hopefully it is. Uh, but yeah, just to see that we're going to get over 50 new items is always great. I just want to see what else they add into the game. Um, I do want to talk about this thing because um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, the Aberration Helmet and the Aberration Sword. And the reason why I'm making this video talking about this is because anyone who pre-ordered the game so far please let me know if you have it already if you go look on their website it clearly says that you're gonna the people who has the season pass will get you know aberration helmet aberration sword over the coming weeks and it's been a few weeks uh, probably a little more of a month since they said that so if anyone has the aberration helmet and the sword let me know in the comments below so i can go ahead and pre-order the season pass so i can make videos and show you guys it but i don't want to spend my money on it Knowing that I have to wait until the DLC come out. And the very last thing that we know so far about Aberration is the biome is underground. And you gotta kinda you kinda gotta look at that as a plus and a negative because one, there is no flying. Like I think they already announced that it will be no flying in this map and it fucking sucks. Uh, of course we get the wing suits and you know we got different creatures that can glide and stuff like that, but being able not being not able to fly is really going to be difficult because I'm so used to just flying around Ark, having a good time, and we can't do that anymore. And hopefully they can make it where the map isn't too bad, where we can't get around easily, um, but I'm pretty sure they'll figure something out. Um, before I end this video, I know this is, this is mainly for PC people. The reason why I'm glad that this map is coming out is because 
I'm, you're going to probably see a lot of different maps being created um, from different modders, um, you know, doing underground maps. Like, you're going to probably see a lot of more, you're going to see a lot more underground maps being created in the art community. So, hopefully, something good comes out of this. Hopefully, everyone picks it up. Um, I will be on Xbox One. The moment this drops, I'm definitely getting on the Xbox One. I'm definitely getting it on PC. Um, PS4, I'm probably going to leave out. Um, I also need to talk to you guys about the server because I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but the servers on Xbox One is too expensive. And I'm, I'm going to make a video probably after this, talk to you guys about it, and I'll probably upload tomorrow. Um, but let me know in the comment below what you guys think. Let me know if you guys really want me to buy an Xbox One server uh, for Aberrations. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And also, if you guys play on PC, let me know in the comments below that you play on PC. Um, put hashtag PC, hashtag Xbox, hashtag PS4. So I can see, you know, what majority you guys actually play on before I buy this server. I right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.